So it's time for another Dark Fridays, even though it's not Friday, because we are going to cover um, the selected measure function in DAX. Let's get started. So selected measure is used by expressions for calculation items to reference the measure that is in context. Always very cryptic. Let me give you an example. So two weeks ago, I did this video for dynamic formatting strings where you can just change. This is what a Power BI visualization would do normally with data labels. And now with dynamic format strings, you can convert it to this, which is really, really neat. And it is done using the dynamic formatting. So if you choose format dynamic, it's explained in detail on that video. So I'll post the link down below, you can check it. So here it is. This is the way I created it. So selected measure, total sales, and then depending on the value of the selected measure, then we were formatting it differently, okay? And you guys told me like, Ruth, why don't you use selected measure? And I was like, can you use selected measure? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, because this is like, hopefully the introduction of calculation groups in Power BI desktop natively. So if instead of writing total sales here, you write selected measure, and then you accept the change, you're gonna see that just to make sure that it actually went through the change, let's open this app. So it's selected measures, as you can see, nothing changed because the actual, it, it, it's the same thing. But the neat thing about this is that you don't have to specify what measure is being, and it needs to be used because it is already implied by this measure, okay? So whatever it is you define on measure here, it will be used on format. And that means that you can just copy this code and paste it everywhere without actually having to go and change these, for example, one of the advantages. There will be more as calculation groups hopefully make it natively into Power BI desktop. But yeah, this is an example. So selected measure grabs whatever measure is in context. In this case, is what you format, what you specify on measure and applies your DAX to it. Neat, right? Okay, so as hopefully calculation groups make it to the desktop, we will do more videos about it. Take care. Bye.